Hello everyone, welcome back to Biomatic Studios. I have been programming for a real long time in Unreal Engine and I've been searching the marketplace in order to make my life easier with plugins that are free and useful. So these are the best plugins available for Unreal Engine. Let's get into it. Number one, Graph Formatter. So what this extension does, what this plugin does, is to format your graph for you. So imagine you have this situation in which everything is a mess. Imagine this is much bigger, this is only a couple nodes, but imagine this is way bigger. It would be a real pain to go one by one by hand reordering everything. So you just install the graph formatting tool, select everything you want to format and click format graph. So you see this is m way better. I personally personally would like it like this, like straight lines, but look, this isn't a miracle, okay? This is just a plugin that tries to do what you want. So you just select everything, select a f this is a personal preference that you would like you maybe like better layer sweep, but I like more fast up. This is just like the alignment. And this number up here is the space between nodes in the horizontal axis. So for exa it, it goes between 100 and 1000. So for example, if I uh, input 500 and then format the graph, see, it, it separates everything uh, uh, 500 units. But I like 100, it's like the natural natural space so you have to try this for yourself and try the different methods of alignment i like fast top but you might like fast median i don't know so this is the first one second plugin out of size commands so you know that if you want to comment like a section of your code you select it and press c and then it a command spawns and you have everything wrapped with a comment and you can write whatever you want in the comment and resize it too like this is real nice but what if I want to move like this down here what why 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 wouldn't it be in the comment anymore why would you do that that's why they made auto size comments with auto size comments you just select everything you want to comment hit C and the comment automatically spawns you can still write whatever you want but this has a couple functionalities which are the best you can randomize the color of the, of the comment so remember in without auto size comments all the comments are the same color you can change it the color like like you can change it but when you create them they are all the same color and it's a pain to go one by one changing the colors this automatically randomizes the color so this you can toggle between having it just be a title or a comment a normal comment so if you create a comment write wherever you want and imagine you want you you don't want this in your comment you just remove it from the comments and if you want it back you just add it what if I want to move this down to here you just move it and the comment moves with it it auto resizes the best thing is you don't you don't need to start a project from scratch to have auto size comments you know look Look, this is an example project, okay? This is the first person character project. I just took this from a random part in the in the code. So when I took this, I left everything else as it was. And look, everything is now an out to size comment and it freaking works. I I love this plugin. This this made my life much easier. I love it. Why wouldn't they make it available right away when you install the engine? This should be the norm. Okay, I'll stop. But you know what I mean. I mean, this is 
this is awesome. So this was out of size comment. Let's go for the last plugin. Third plugin, Productivity Tools Lite. So imagine you have this situation, you have a folder with a blueprint, a map, a game mode, I don't know, a lot of stuff. And you want it organized, but you don't want to go manually, one after one, classifying. So you download the plugin, install it, and then click on the folder, organize package. And it automatically sorts everything and puts them in nice little folders. What about this? I mean, it's perfect. But then imagine you want a first-person character blueprint, but then you also want a first-person character animation. But you want to name and first first-person character both because they are all first-person character things. So you just go to content or the folder you want, click on the folder and fix naming. And if you fix the naming, you just go inside and see everything has now a BP first if they are blueprints and well this isn't you have to save it for it to work you have to save like uh, the assets and one once they are saved well apparently the levels don't work but you know you get the idea uh, if I fix the name of the geometry and go in see as M for the static mesh M for material I don't know so I think it's pretty cool that you ha we have this tool and see now it's separating the materials from the textures from the particles and then it cleans up everything it's perfect it has a problem though the productivity tools light has a paid version which does more stuff awesome stuff but you have to pay so this is like a trial and I really like the I, I would buy it actually uh, this has a catch though it doesn't support the latest engine like the latest engine is the 4.23 at the time and also at the time it doesn't support the engine 4.23 so that's a shame but that's what it is and I hope you enjoyed this video leave in the comments below your favorite plugin I know there's lots of plugins but take into account that I'm reviewing only free plugins and just the best plugins ignore that email and <laughs> and please leave a like subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next one goodbye